Expect a new traffic light to pop up soon near downtown Spokane. Developers have planned to put a traffic light at the intersection of Monroe Street and Summit Parkway, but it's coming sooner rather than later. KXOI4's Aaron Luna working for you. He joins us now live from downtown with when construction might start. Aaron? And Nadine, this area has become quite popular with Kendall Yards and the new businesses and the new restaurants. That means this intersection also very popular. You have a lot of cars driving down Monroe trying to cut through Summit, and that can be really tricky when it hits rush hour. Now, Greenstone Homes, which is developing this area, was going to put a traffic light here when they developed these corner lots. But because of all the traffic, that timeline has been moved up. Trying to turn left on Monroe from Summit is an exercise in patience or an experiment with acceleration, but not for much longer. We're going to put in those turn signals so that will help with the traffic flow. Greenstone, the company who developed Kendall Yards, had planned to install a traffic light when it developed the commercial area on the corner. But they've seen a uh, a rise in use and so they've decided to move forward a little earlier. They're in the design process right now. So that could happen as early as this summer or potentially over about a year. Once designs are submitted to the city, the city has to approve them. Then ordering the parts takes about two months. Construction can start then. In the meantime, Monroe continues to see 21,000 cars pass through the intersection in a 24-hour period, with about 15 to 20 pedestrians trying to cross the street each hour, even though the Centennial Trail does go under Monroe Street. It was necessary for the amount of traffic and, and the amount of pedestrians out there. The new light will be just like all others, with left turn signals for north and southbound Monroe Street traffic and standard signals for cars on Summit Parkway. They will be able to turn left, but it will be a solid green. A much safer alternative for drivers shooting the gap. And that traffic light will run about a half a million dollars with Greenstone footing the bill. Reporting live downtown, Aaron Luna, KXOY 4 News.